April 3rd, 2022, and this video is called Ukraine from World's Breadbasket to Global Famine. Now, this is something that I think we all should be uh, concerned about with the present uh, events that are taking place. How many farms are in Ukraine? 70% of Ukraine is farmland. Now, it's talking about that Ukraine can meet the food needs of 600 million people. That's pretty good for a nation of 44 million people and about 35,000 farms. Now, I think this is underestimated. There's way more than 35,000 farms, and I'll show you in a little bit why I say that. But 70% of Ukraine is farmland. Its agribusiness sector remains the most promising sector of their economy with 41 million hectares of agricultural land covering 70% of the country and it's 25% of the world's reserves of black soil. Now, Chernozem is a rich black layer soil that makes Ukraine one of the most fertile places on the planet. Now check this out. This thickness ranges from a couple inches to five feet thick of this layer of dark organic matter. Richest um, place on the planet per topsoil. Now, if you look at a Google map on the satellite, this is just blows me away. Go anywhere on this country and this is what you're going to see it's a total mosaic of produce this is just nuts the amount of farms are in this country I thought like California had a pretty good amount of farming but that's that makes Ukraine makes California like a little pimple Look at this. This is like not so. Like look at tiny farms, big farms. Any look at tiny farms, big farms. This is just crazy. Look how green it is. What what are they growing here? They're probably growing everything. And look at this. No matter where you go in the country, anywhere it just goes on and on and on so that's over there how about we go like right here I mean this is pretty impressive the coordination of these crops and the food that they grow is probably one of the most uh mind-boggling things that I, I've been thinking about this the efficiency of this country just is amazing now let's go we'll just pick any random spot in the country and look at this no matter where you go it's just crops and crops and crops Every shade of green for the produce, every shade of brown for the soil. I mean, have you seen anything more impressive? Let's go, let's just go any random spot. And that's all you see is farmland after farmland after farmland after farmland now this is what blows me away why don't you think about this that all these farms are idle right now because of this conflict with russia and that's going to have major 
major consequences to the global food supply. That's why I think there's going to be a major famine. Look at this. Look at the color of that soil. It just goes on and on and on. Pretty envious of their uh, farmers. Probably some of the best farmers of the world are in Ukraine. Let's even go on this little part where you would think there's nothing there except maybe vacation spots. But no, there's farms upon farms upon farms upon farms in this whole country. This whole country, that's the breadbasket of the world. And this is what the scary part is. The revelation of the horsemen in the book of the apocalypse. The food-rich country's potential to feed the entire planet makes it hard to imagine a famine extensive enough to thrust the earth into a global crisis. Yet the third seal of Revelation 6, employing the symbol of the black horse, describes such a horrifying scene. Now how could this happen? What's well, happening right in front of our eyes right now? And you better get those little eye goblets out because there's going to be awakening in the next decade, I have a feeling, if this conflict uh, goes on for years. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come and see. Another horse, fiery red, went out, and it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth, and that people should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was Death, and Hades followed with him. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth, to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beasts of the earth. 